Mega projects are large scale, complex undertakings that take decades to build. These can range from high rise skyscrapers that pierce the sky to clean, calm, and entirely green cities. These mega projects are not only enormous in scale, but also represent some of the greatest feats of engineering, design, and construction in human history. Today, we'll take you on a journey through 10 of these that we deem the most ambitious and impressive in the world. The Tokyo Sky Tree is the world's highest freestanding tower at 2,080 feet tall, located in Oshiag Station, northeast of Tokyo Station. Construction started in 2008, and it took three years and 10 months to build. The tower cost around 50 billion yen, which is around 400 million US dollars, and it was built by Tobu Railway. It is used as a radio and TV transmitter tower by NHK and five commercial television stations. The tower faced challenges with aviation restrictions that limited its height and the Great East Japan earthquake in 2011. It has a glass-walled observatory deck at a height of 1,475 feet, which offers a panoramic view of the city. In 2012, the Tokyo Sky Tree was recognized as the world's tallest freestanding tower by the Guinness Book of World Records, until it was surpassed by... The Mardika 118 is a 118-story skyscraper in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, standing at 2,227 feet tall. It's the second tallest structure and building in the world, after the Burj Khalifa. The building's name is inspired by its proximity to Stadium Merdeka and signifies independence. Its spire was completed in October 2021, making it the tallest building in Malaysia in Southeast Asia. The building has a mixture of diamond-shaped glass facades and will receive a triple platinum rating from sustainability certifications. The design was inspired by Tunku Abdul Rahman's outstretched hand gesture when he proclaimed the independence of Malaysia in 1957. It will include a mall, offices, hotels, and residential areas, and will be illuminated at night with 5.2 miles of LED light strips, boasting a sum of $1.5 billion. This is the ultimate entertainment destination in Azerbaijan. Caspian Waterfront is a stunning five-floor complex that boasts 1,290,000 square feet of entertainment, leisure, and dining options, all on land reclaimed by the Caspian Sea. The national symbol of the country is an iconic structure with a central bulb petals design and Brescia 200 aluminum metal mesh of 0.33 inch thickness. The building will have seven levels, two of which will be for parking, and the other five will have retail outlets. The set 230 feet high. Thanks to Chapman Taylor's BIM software, the development's complex geometry has been brought to life in drawings, schedules, and visualizations. This repurposed building was originally designed as a Congress Center in 2007, but now it's home to a harmonious fusion of interior and exterior design that creates a truly homogeneous concept for this entertainment center. Jubail Industrial City is a remarkable achievement, built from scratch in the eastern province of Saudi Arabia by a team of world-class engineers and project managers led by Bechtel. The city spans over 687 square miles and includes major industrial complexes, harbor and port facilities, and residential areas that can accommodate over 120,000 residents. Bechtel's partnership with the Royal Commission for Jubal and Yanbu began in the mid-1970s and has continued to this day. Together, they have transformed Jubail from a deserted fishing and pearling village into a major player in the global energy market, accounting for 7% of the country's gross domestic product. The expansion of Jubail II in 2006 added more residential areas, educational facilities, medical centers, power, water, waste facilities, and infrastructure, including an 18,000 student Greenfield University. Jubail's growth and success are a testament to the power of collaboration, innovation, and hard work. Today, it attracts top technical and business minds from all over the world. 
Palm Jumeirah is an artificial archipelago in Dubai that resembles a palm tree when viewed from above. It's home to several luxury resorts, including Atlantis, The Palm, and Jumeirah Zabil Sarai, as well as numerous fine dining options and attractions like The Point. Access to the island is easy through a network of roads, tunnels, and public transport options such as the Palm Monorail, which stops at Atlantis, the Palm, and Nakheel Mall. Sailing around Palm Jumeirah or admiring the boats from the Palm Jumeirah Boardwalk or Palm West Beach is a popular option, and thrill-seekers can also take to the skies with Skydive Dubai. The shocking part is that it cost a whopping sum of $12 billion to make this place come to life. For a more relaxed evening, visitors can enjoy the Palm Fountain, the world's largest dancing fountain, or dine at Club Vista Mare, a pier with several restaurants such as Breeze Beach Grill in Ibn Al Bar. Central Park Jakarta is a place to be for all upper middle class shoppers in Indonesia. This park was inaugurated on September 9, 2009, and boasts a whopping 46 acres of floor space. And get this! The leasable area is a cool 31 acres. It's made of 56 residences, 42 office towers, 9 malls, and 12 hotels. The mall is part of the integrated mega-projects for Potomoro City, which spans a total land area of 22 hectares. Central Park Mall is home to some seriously impressive retailers, like the largest Sogo in all of Indonesia, boasting a massive 5.4 acres and 4 stories high. Plus, there's Transmart with 2.5 acres of space, and let's not forget about Indonesia's second-largest cinema, CGV Cinemas, with 10 auditoriums and a total capacity of 1,905 seats. Central Park has received a lot of awards, and those prestigious achievements have marked the position of Central Park Mall as the most extraordinary shopping icon in Asia. Islamabad, the capital of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, is a fascinating city that was built between 1960 and 1970 to replace Karachi as the capital. It's divided into eight zones and is notable for its high standards of living, safety, cleanliness, and abundant greenery. One of the city's most recognizable landmarks is the majestic Faisal Mosque, which is made of white marble and is one of the largest mosques in the world. The busy Jannah Market is another popular tourist spot in the city. For those interested in history, the Islamabad collection of relics and artifacts dating back to the Gandhara period. Apple Park is the company's second campus located in Cupertino, California, and was one of the final products pitched by the late CEO Steve Jobs. It's a massive ring-shaped building that's now an iconic symbol of Apple's dedication to design, green energy, and the future of technology. The campus covers 175 acres, has a 2.8 million square foot main building worth $4.17 billion, and is powered by 100% renewable energy. It houses 12,000 employees and has many unique features, including the world's largest panels of curved glass, the largest naturally ventilated building ever, and 9,000 drought-resistant trees. Additionally, the campus features a 100,000-square-foot fitness center and is home to the Steve Jobs Theater. Apple Park is meant to drive Apple into the future and is a beacon of creativity and unity. Putrajaya is a city and federal territory in Malaysia, located 15.5 miles south of Kuala Lumpur. The Malaysian government decided to create a new city to house scattered offices that had been hindering administrative processes due to traffic congestion in Kuala Lumpur. Over time, the city expanded to include the federal court, two royal palaces, and many other administrative buildings. Putrajaya was developed as a garden city with many parks, botanical gardens, and wetlands, as well as an expansive man-made lake. The city was envisioned as part of a growing high-tech technology communications research and development corridor stretching southward from Kuala Lumpur. It's accessible by numerous rail lines and highways and is near the Kuala Lumpur International Airport. 
The Burj Khalifa is a skyscraper located in the downtown Dubai complex in Dubai. It's 2,716 feet tall, more than twice the height of the Empire State Building and almost three times the size of the Eiffel Tower. It includes the world's highest observatory deck, the at-the-top Burj Khalifa Sky Lounge, which opened in 2014 at 1,820 feet above sea level. The corporate suites, located on the top 37 floors, are designed for business executives, with the top three levels combined into a single office. The atmosphere, restaurant, lounge, and private dining offer elegant and sophisticated dining experiences at 1,450 feet above the city. The Burj Khalifa also features three sky lobbies with fitness facilities, swimming pools, jacuzzis, and a recreation room. The complex includes over 900 residences with amenities and services for an unparalleled lifestyle experience.